we will perform synthetic division for the two polynomials. We will consider, first of all, the coefficients of the dividend. 1, 5, 2, and negative 8. The 0 that we consider is going to be the negative 4. The divisor is x plus 4. So we take the x plus 4 equals to 0 and we find what the x is equal to. This is the number that we divide right here. So with the synthetic division, first step, we bring down the number 1. We multiply negative 4 by 1 and we add the result here. 5 plus negative 4 is 1. Again, we multiply this 1 by negative 4 <clears throat> and we add the result here. The result is going to be negative 2. We multiply negative 2 by negative 4 and the result is plus 8. We add those two and the result is 0. When the remainder of the synthetic division or of a division, long division, is equal to 0, then this means that the numerator is divided equally, completely, with the denominator. What does this mean? This simply means that x plus 4 is a factor of the initial polynomial, x to the third, plus 5x squared, plus 2x. When we have a polynomial that can be evenly divided by a linear factor, and the quotient of that is negative 2, 1x, 1x squared, if we multiply the quotient by the divisor, then the result will be the initial polynomial. So x plus 4 times x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to the polynomial that we started with. So if we take now this polynomial and we try to factor it, <clears throat> then we can further factor the initial polynomial. Let's take the x squared plus x minus 2 and try to factor it. Ha. We have many methods. We can factor it with the AC method. We can factor it with the quadratic formula. Or we can factor it with a long division. But we cannot start with the long division because we don't know what we should divide it with. So let's try with the quadratic formula to practice with that. Our polynomial is x squared plus x minus 2. To factor it with the quadratic formula, we set it to equal to 0, and we identify the a, the b, and the c. The a is 1, the b is 1, and the c is negative 2. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. We plug in our numbers and what we get is negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square, that is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 2, times negative 2. So it's 4 times 1 times negative 2, divided by 2 times 1. That is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 9, divided by 2. This gives us two solutions, either negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2, or negative 1 minus 3 divided by 2. That is equal to 2 over 2, that is 1, negative 4 over 2, that is negative 2. So this is also a solution, and this, of the initial polynomial. Why? 
because these are solutions of this polynomial right here that is the quotient of the initial polynomial with x plus 4. So, x squared plus x minus 2 can be written now as x minus 1, because of that, and x plus 2, because of the other root that we found. If we go now on the top, and we replace this with its equal, that is x minus 1, x plus 2. And we already have the first factor, that is x plus 4. We have completely factored our initial polynomial, and we found the roots of that, the zeros, that is negative 4, plus 1, and negative 2. 